G'day Grooners and welcome to one of my latest vlog and a warm welcome to my channel. For those of you who've been regularly subscribing, I really do appreciate you coming back each and every time. And if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. So following on from the uh, last vlog, yeah, you love the air vent, yeah. This is all live. Yes, having a new gadget here, my Garmin Phoenix 5. Uh, I said that I'll be doing, trying out some new features on here and one of the features I'll be trying out and doing some recording and show you how it's used is the lactate threshold test. When I saw this on it I thought, wow, I've got to try this out and see what happens. But uh, for those of you who don't know what lactate threshold is, it's basically the point where your body, lactate acid comes into your system, yeah? Uh, whilst you're running muscles and all that type of stuff. And apparently it causes fatigue and uh, the threshold is the point that you can actually clear the lactate that you're running at that, that particular speed. Hopefully that makes sense in a quick nutshell of what lactate threshold is. Um, if you don't really know what it is, you can Google it. But yes, it's, uh, I'm gonna try this out and let's see how we get on with the, this feature, yeah? So to get this feature started, I will select the uh, feet run. So I'm going to go to run, press the fire button on that, and then hold the menu, and then run settings. We do training interval segments. Lactate threshold guided test, estimated 20 to 30 minutes. Can you see that? Lactate threshold guided test. Warm up at a slow pace for 10 to 15 minutes. Right, so I'll do that first. Let's get the watch on my hand and let's get moving. So after the warm up, it says intensity targets will increase every three to four minutes. And then the test is complete when threshold is detected. Okay. So I'm now doing my warm up and uh, yeah, let's see how this goes, okay? It's all new to me and I'm sure it's new to you as well. Well, Gruners, test completed and apparently I didn't reach the threshold level, so no threshold was detected. Well, well, I don't know if the Garmin's broken or if I'm some kind of superhuman or I just wasn't running fast enough. Leave some comments below what you think of uh, this test. Have any of you tried this particular test on your Garmin devices that has it? I'd love to hear from you and see how you got on. But uh, as you can tell by my breathing, it was pretty intense. But anyway. Let's finish off his cool off and continue. So let's save this workout and let's see what um, what comes up. Saving one new record. Woo! Obviously this is a record on the Garmin. Yeah, obviously I have run 5k slack. Oh new VO2 max 56. Obviously this is a new device for me. Training effects. Ooh. 23 hours recovery. Train as normal. So, Gruners, there you have it the um, lactate threshold test, uh, which didn't quite go to plan. But as I say, it's a new device for me. Maybe I was using it wrong or doing things wrong or not running hard enough um, at particular heart rates. Um, the long and the short of it is every couple of minutes it comes up with a uh, change of running plan um, because I've been doing the warm-up for quite a while I thought it broken I'd already done like 15 minutes warm-up I thought oh is it gonna do something and then eventually it came up with um, start a run at particular heart rates and then a few minutes later it say do this one three minutes four minutes so on and so on um, but it kept saying no no uh, whatever detected and kept bleeping out and then at the end of the workout it said no threshold detected so I felt a bit disappointed with that um, over 30 minutes 35 minutes 
of uh, training and uh, nothing to show for it. Let's see what it shows on the Garmin. Obviously the run is recorded, so it did happen. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for bearing with me through this. I'm going to redo the um, redo the actual uh, thre lactate threshold test again and see if I actually do get to a threshold and I'll update you on that. So please do subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this. I found it useful in some way. And as I said, when I was uh, cooling down, if you have tried this particular uh, training session on your Garmin, I'd love to hear from you. Leave some comments below and how you got on and uh, maybe I was doing something wrong. So thank you so much and I'll see you at my next update. So whenever you are, whatever you do, keep... Right, yeah!